Good day, everybody. Today, I got something really cool to show you. We are going to be doing live mapping in DaVinci Resolve. So what do I mean by live mapping? Well, what I mean is we're going to be creating a masking set within Resolve without having to use any sort of pre-drawn map that we import in. So I'm going to show you exactly how that works, but I need to let you know that this requires Resolve Studio, which means you have to purchase the license for it. This doesn't come in the free version. So if I was going to create a mask based off of a map, I would bring my map file onto the edit page. And if you follow my method, I'd need to go into the fusion page next, set up my nodes, and then go around my mapping file to create my masking and then pin everything up. And there's nothing wrong with using a map to create your masking. It's sort of the standard because it works. However, last year when I was trying to figure out how to do this and I came across the X Essentials projection mapping video, I was fascinated that he was just creating his masking live. He wasn't using a map, he was just doing it. And for the past year, I've been wishing I could do this in Resolve, but I just never found the right setting for it. And that's because I was always looking at some sort of dual screen setting, and that's not what it's called. So I'm gonna create a completely different masking, and I'm gonna show you that setting. I'm gonna start this mask by creating a new fusion clip instead of bringing in a mapping file or a solid image or anything like that. And I'm gonna open that up in the Fusion page and you're gonna see that the only thing we have here is the media out node. So I'm gonna pop in a background node and I'm gonna turn the alpha all the way down so I get a transparent background. And then I'm gonna set up my node structure just as if I was using a mapping file to create my mask. So here I just have a plain blue background. And now I'm gonna show you the setting that I've been missing for the past eight months that makes live masking possible. This is my fault, it's on me. I didn't read the documentation. I have nobody to blame but myself. You wanna head up to workspace at the top and you're looking for the setting called video clean feed. Right now it's set to none, so I'm gonna click on my second monitor. So what this setting is gonna do is it's gonna take your preview window and put it on your second monitor. And unfortunately, that's the setting that's only available in Resolve Studio. So I'm gonna create a quick approximation of the shape of my house using a mask. And on my second monitor, it shows full screen in real time what I'm doing with the masking and the effects that I put together. I can use the mouse to move these points around. I can click on a point and use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move them around if I need to do some fine tuning. And live, in real time, it's gonna show up on my second monitor. So that's all fine and dandy, but what happens when we make the second monitor the projector we're going to use? Now you can see my blue background is splayed across this closet wall here. I didn't feel like going out and doing my house all over again. So I'm gonna use this wall as an experiment. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to go ahead and just create a mask that's just like a square, four points all connected together. Now I can manipulate this mask, this square, and put it into the corners where I want it. I'm gonna to have to add an extra couple points here to make that cover that little corner there. But there we go, my first masking layer is done live on the wall. Let's go ahead and do the closet door while we're here. Why not? Same thing. This time I'm gonna make a red square using a red background and a polygon mask. And I'm gonna stretch that out over the closet doors. And since I'm here, I might as well mask out those little panels on the doors. Here you're gonna notice a difference in the coloring between what it's showing in Resolve and what it's actually projecting. My projector is calibrated to look good on the vinyl siding of my house, not this closet door. And I didn't really feel like messing with my projector settings just for this little experiment. So at this point, I'm gonna montage the rest of this masking, just so you can see what the end product of masking this entire wall will look like, and then I'll throw some effects in it. Why not? Let's see how that looks.
All right, I am finishing up here. Just a couple more things to plug in. Nothing special on these effects. Now this isn't gonna be a coherent show, but let's see how it looks. That doesn't look too shabby, I think. I could do some color correction on these effects to try to uh, bring out the saturation a bit more on them. So you might think, well, that's cool, but I've already created my mask. I've already created my show. I've already done all of that using a map file. What good does this do me if I'm already done? Well, you can actually take your show, your mask and everything out. So you can check the color on something. You can check that your masking is correct. You can check that your assets are in the correct position. So you can probably tell something like this would be extremely helpful to those of us who are doing projection shows on our house this year. But I have to tell you, if you're new to Resolve and you're just learning the tool, you may not want to make that $295 leap into the studio version just yet. Go ahead and take your time on the free version, learning how all of that works, and then upgrade to this later on if you need. So that's all I have for you today. Until next time, take care of yourselves.